Hi. In this video, we will talk about how to split a data into multiple fields. Before I go any further, let me prepare a small data frame so that I, I can explain what needs to be done. So I'll start with a simple data frame. I'll construct three small vectors. You can see that there are two fields. One represents the patient ID and the second could be the the vitals or the measurements or the readings taken from each patient. So you can see that there are multiple readings within the same field. So let me go further in this and complete our data frame. So I've actually combined everything and we end up with a small data frame. So X1 being the patient ID and X2 being the, the readings which have been taken from the patient. Let me fix it up by giving proper names to each field. So here we go. This is our final data frame. We have patient ID in the first column and then we have the measurements being there are two measurements taken from each patient in this case. So let me go and um, split it and you can see what I mean by splitting. We would like this measurement to go into multiple columns instead of being lumped together in one single field. So I'll run this command called csplit and before I um, use this csplit I would need a library called library split stack shape. So you can install it from the packages by using install packages. Once you have this library or the package, you will have to call it. So I'll, I'll call this so that my C split works. So, yep, it's working. So let me show you the results of this transformation. Okay, so you can see that our data has got split. So we started with this data frame. So the measurements were in the same field, but after running the C split, we have our data split into multiple columns. So measurement one being 80 and the measurement two being 90 for the, for the first patient. And then for the second patient, um, the, the measurement one has gone into measurement one. So 40 measurement two, has been 42 so this has come up there and similar similarly if there are multiple fields you would actually get measurement one two three four etc so this is a very useful way of converting and i find it very very simple and um, useful to do so now let me go one step further so if you grasp this concept of splitting a single measurement or a single field which has um, multiple values separated by a separator in this case it's comma but we can also run it using a different separator so all you have to do is just change the separator to give you an example let me run the same example but using a different separator in this case a pipe so so my data now has, uh, instead of commas, I have um, a pipe symbol separating each measurement. But I can do the same thing. I can run the C split command, but in this case, my separator equals the pipe symbol. And if I look at it, you can see that the data has been successfully transformed. So any separator can be used and um, you can just put the separator value in there. Now, what happens if you have multiple multiple values of um, of the recordings? For example, when a patient goes to hospital, they might be recording uh, the blood pressure. So blood pressure, the SBP and DBP. So running it again, constructing a small data frame. So we have the systolic and um, diastolic blood pressure of the patient. So let me print it up as well. You can see that we have three patients. 
we have the SVP recordings and the DVP recordings for the same patient. In some cases, in some patients, you might only have one recording. In some cases, you could have three recordings, but in, in one of the patients, they forgot to record the so we have three SBP readings. There should have been three DBP readings, but they forgot to record the, 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 the one of the readings. So in this case, we will assume that this the first one belongs to the first one, and the second one belongs to the second one, and the third one would be an A or, or blank. So going further with this, I can run this command on multiple fields. So all I'm saying in this case is that my data frame is my DF and the separator is the comma because in this case we have used commas to separate the data. And then the split columns or the columns which needs to be splitted are, there are two columns. One is SPP, this one, and the DBP, this one. So we would like to split this into multiple columns for each pair or, or, or each set of values. So having run this command, let me show the values which come on the screen. So you can see that we have three columns, SBP1, 2, and 3 for the SBP readings because there were maximum three readings. And obviously, in the first patient, there was only one reading. So the first reading was taken there. And the second and the third is um, blank or NA. And similarly, the DBP for the first patient, because there was only one reading, the, so we have the pair SPP1 and DBP1, and the rest of them are blank. And similarly, in the patient number two or patient 234, there was one reading missing. So we have 120 along with 80 and we have 125 with 100. So the third reading, there should have been a, another value up there, but because it's uh, blank, so we have 130 there, but we have a NA in the third column. So it, this reading is incomplete. And similarly for the patient 456, we have all the three values available. So it has been put into multiple columns successfully as well. So this is how you split the data into um, multiple columns um, in, in, a, in a horizontal fashion. What if I wanted to reverse the situation? What if I have, so we have converted this uh, data into a wide format. What about converting this into a long table? There are various packages um, which you can use, but um, using this C split, is probably the easier way. So in this case, I want to have each reading into a separate row. So once I run it, you would see what I mean by that. And in this case, I'm saying that I want to split my data, which is, so I am starting with my DF. So my DF being this kind of data frame and the columns which I want to split or um, provide um, variables, uh, multiple variables for that is SVP and DBP because there are two variables I'm using. I'm combining them by saying C, SVP, DBP. And again, the separator is comma. And in this case, direction equals long. And I want to strip all the, uh, I don't want to strip the white area. So, uh, running it you would see that we have converted our wide data into a long data you can see that we have a blood pressure reading for each patient so so if i look at patient one two three there were three records the first one being the blood pressure 120 80 second was none third was none for patient two three four we have 120 80 as the first reading and the second reading was taken as 12500 third reading was taken as 130 and remember there was um, a missing value there 430 so we have 130 there but there was a missing value there and that's why we have the third ring as that patient 456 all had all the three values taken properly 
So we have patient 456 where we have three valid pair of blood pressure reading. So this is how you can convert a long um, a, a data into a long format as well. I hope you find this information useful. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for watching videos like this. Thank you.